So now that we've got GCE installed and our computer's rebooted, and you can see we have a shortcut up here for GCE on our desktop. But before we launch GCE, let's go and set the IP address information for our computer. You can see on this computer I do have two different NICs or network interfaces, and I've already named this one. Uh, as I know, this is the one that's connected to my Net3 network. Uh, so to set that information, let's double click, click Properties, double click TCP IP, and now we're at the screen where you can actually set the information. Obtain an IP address automatically is the Windows default, and it's exactly what you'd want to use for a home or office network. And it's also possible that's what you might want to use on a Net3 network if you've already got a DHCP server up and running. In this case, I know that I don't, um, so I'll need to set an IP address for my computer, and then I'll be able to run a DHCP server from it um, once we get GCE running. Traditionally, uh, we've said go ahead and put your static IP address information in here, and that works great, except then you need to go back here and change it back to automatic when you go back to your home or office um, to do that. So we're going to leave this here, and you notice that when it's in the automatic mode that there's this tab that pops up back here, just lurking back here, says alternate configuration. Well, that's where we're going to set our static IP. Um, by default, it's set to automatic private IP address. That's Microsoft's way of saying link local IP address. That's when you have it set for DHCP, um, automatic IP address addressing, but there is no DHCP server. What it does is it fails over to a link local IP address, and that's the one that starts with 169.254.something.something. Um, right now, Net3 networks don't support automatic private IP address or link local, whichever name you want to use. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in our information back here. In this case, I've put in 10.101.1.151 for my computer's IP address so that when on the first screen, it doesn't get one automatically. It'll come back here and use this information. So we click OK, OK, think about it for a second, close, and now everything's good and we're connected and we're ready to go. And in the next video, we're going to actually launch GCE and get going.